Is that where it was? You looked it on that tree right there. I don't see it. Man, I tell you what, somebody's getting ready to get some dang gun. <laughs> you hooked the clip on that right there. Somebody stole it. Somebody done stole their dang trap. <laughs> yeah, I better say it's on YouTube. <laughs> So, two weeks ago, I made a video and I built a fish trap. Remember? You remember. Well, on today's video, we're gonna find out how good it worked. We're gonna find out the best baits for it. And we're gonna figure out location. Location's always important. I'm just saying. This right here is where last week's video ended. So we over at David's house, we just gotta find us a spot to drop our trap in. Yeah, I might need a longer rope. You know what that means? That means that's where this video begins. I'm just saying. So we're going to head back to my buddy's house. We're going to check our fish trap. We're going to see if it works. I'm back at David's. <laughs> we're going to check and see if we caught any fish. I see them ripples again, see? That's what I seen the other day. Can't tell if he's fishing it. Oh, he's fishing it. We caught some fish. How many is that? Five? five? We caught five bluegills. This makes me want to go fishing. <laughs> we got bait. I guess we'll throw them back in and maybe move it, try it somewhere else. I ain't trying to kill them. It's one. He gone. I'm so excited. <laughs> go fishing now, we ain't got to come out here and try to catch fish. Because sometimes when we go catfishing in the fall or whatever, the daggone fish won't bite and then we got no bait. So you want to move it or you want to try it here? All right, so we walking around to the other side of the lake. We know where a deep hole's at. Yeah. <laughs> you know where a deep hole's at? <laughs> David flipped the boat one time and it's pretty deep right there. I didn't get that on film, I wish. All right, so we're gonna try some more bread, but we're gonna try some other baits and see how they work. But all I brought today was a loaf of bread. She filled up, put a little clip on. Yeah. I really hope this thing works because this will be ideal. Those brim were perfect for flathead, like the perfect size. Like I said, we might have to experiment with that whole size. Yeah, we Let's could see. open the slits up. David's got some big brim in his pond. You could just grab the basket and throw it. Give me the rope. Let me untangle it first. Let me get this rope over here near you. Ready? Yep, chunk her on in there. God! Dang. God! Turn the rope out of my hand. <laughs> Who's going swimming, not me? We'll just leave it in there and fish it out when we check it. Yeah. about that <laughs> that sounds good or you can jump in here i'm not <laughs> so i'm about to hit the home depot i'm gonna buy some stuff to go along with that fish trap and we're gonna throw it together <laughs> Got another roll of the one by one inch wire, just like I used for my fish trap. This wire is two foot tall and 15 feet long. I also had a little bit of wire left over from the fish trap, so I'm gonna use it too. And we're gonna make us a fish live box. And these things aren't cheap. I've seen them for over a hundred dollars. Ain't nothing but wire. Make things simpler, it's already two foot wide. So I cut four three foot long pieces, which we have right here one two three four and i cut me two two by two foot pieces which we have right here now all i gotta do is put these together and make a box but before we do that i want to talk about something putting this wire together is pretty simple the hardest part actually is getting it flat as you can tell but just like i showed on the last video you can get some hog ring pliers which you put on two pieces and it makes a little ring on it. These are kind of automatic hog ring pliers. You load a bunch of them at once like a staple gun and you just go to work. And the thing I like about these is it's really fast. I mean, you can put hog rings on like crazy. It's a big time saver. So I'm going to use hog rings. And something else you can do if you don't want to buy hog ring pliers, you can use zip ties. Zip ties work really good too. They're plastic. They won't rot or rust. And they're easy to get and cheap. And if you watch the actual fish trap video, on it I used hog rings and I used zip ties 
to stiffen up the corners. Well, I had a lot of subscribers to tell me to use J-clips. So I went and checked out the J-clips. They're like a wider piece of metal and it curls it around. And they're a lot like a tie strap, but they're metal and they're stronger. So I went and bought me some J-clip pliers and I'm gonna try them out. And these are J-clips. You put them in the pliers, but as you mash it, it wraps it around and curls it up and it makes a stronger bond kind of like a tie strap. Now, if I had to pick one of all three of these, I'd probably go with the J-Clips. But since I have all three already, I'm going to use hog rings down the sides because it's so fast. I'm going to stiffen this trap up with J-Clips. Like I said, if you don't want to buy no pliers, just go buy you some tie straps. First, I'm going to do the four big sides. Okay, so we got our ends put together. Got all four of them put together, actually. So now, we got a parcel box. A parcel box. But I still gotta put the ends on. So let's throw the ends on there real fast. So, of course, I used the all greens to put it together, like I said. But then I went back and I used the J-clips ever so often, especially in the corners. It'll really stiffen up the corners. This trap don't shake at all anymore. Them J-clips do a really, really good job. I mean, look at it. I made a dang rabbit cage. <laughs> all I got left to do, I'm gonna cut me out a door, throw a door on here, tie a rope to it, and it's finished. We're gonna throw our fish holding trap. That's pretty good right there. If you put it a little bit shallower, you could have or the lid sticking out, or you can do it like this and just pick it up, open the door, throw some fish in. So basically, with something like this, the fish are gonna be in fresh water. It's like a minnow basket that you drop in the water. It'll keep them alive. You ain't gotta recirculate, clean it out. It's a good idea. Do you know them things are like a hundred dollars online? Mm -hmm. We're fixing to bait our trap up again, see if we caught anything. We're gonna have to fish it. <laughs> We're gonna have to fish this thing out. So David got a hook. I got different bait for today because I want to try out some different baits in it. Hopefully we can find it. Can you see it? That tops are pretty good, don't want it. Shot over here. Let's go out one more. You flipped it. Any fish in it? I don't see nothing. What the heck? <laughs> Throw it out there too far. <laughs> Kinda hard to catch fish in the winter. All right, so I bent this thing out just a little bit because David's got really big brim in here. He's got a little brim too, but he's got more big ones. Maybe it'll do better. Yeah, bait's What's in that bag. A turkey leg. <laughs> Chicken works. Yeah, chicken works. <laughs> That's yep. a cooked turkey leg, though. We put, we put a little bit of turkey leg and we put some bread. About to fish with the turkey leg. <laughs> might just try to use the pole this time. Yeah, I think that'd be better. I got the rope. David gonna set it out there in a deep spot. That is deep. That's deeper than I thought it was. I'm gonna hook my little clip to this tree so a raccoon don't come and carry my cage off. We'll come back tomorrow and see what we catch. Well, a rope's still here. I can see see bread float, but I can't see nothing else. After opening that thing up, maybe we'll get some big ones. <clears throat> you got it. Oh, I see a fish. It's a little bitty one. Ah, right, dang. One little old fish. Dang, he ain't even big enough for catch a flathead with. Well, I guess one's better than nothing, but that's kind of sad. Eh? <laughs> Keep bragging on my big bluegills. We ain't showed them none yet. There ain't no fish over here. I think we're moving again. We can. We know where a deep hole is. Way over there. But you gotta go through them woods with them briars to get there. Trek Maybe over there. The bush out. You going through there? Oh man. I'm going through here. Might be a mistake. That's just thing breaking her. We made it over here. Every time we load this thing, I'm just running experiments. Day. We brought the secret weapon. Cheetos. Brung out the big guns. <laughs> Load her up. 
We put some bread in the bottom so the Cheetos wouldn't fall out. Some of them still fell out, but it's okay. We flipped a boat over here one time so we know it's deep right here. Look at that Cheeto. David threw a test Cheeto in and something's nibbling on it. Let me get this out there. Cheetos escaped. Well, this is baiting them up. <laughs> Which one? Oh well, we'll see. We're gonna find some good bait eventually. Our rope's gone. Maybe we just didn't see it. Is that where it was? You looked at all that tree right there. I thought that was the other day. Didn't we move down? Can't remember. We done been out here so many dang times. Man, I tell you what, somebody's getting ready to get some deck on. <laughs> Somebody just stole my trap. Who you calling? 911, what's your emergency? You hooked the clip on that right there. Somebody stole it. I remember hooking it right there. I could see the lid, but I don't see it. Somebody done stole their dang trap. Yeah, I better <laughs> say this on YouTube. Well, even if an animal did it, though, I don't see the trap nowhere. God dang, we found it. It's way over there. We done brought this trap out here so many times. <laughs> Forgot where we put it. Yeah, because you fail a lot of times. Yeah, I guess we got mixed up. <laughs> We've been working on this video way too long. Good gracious, these things will tear you. Ow, I'm stuck. I'm glad we found it. <laughs> Come on, oh, it's loaded. Uh, yeah, we got some. She loaded up. I mean, we got in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Yeah, some decent sized ones, a couple. Let's get them out of there and throw them back in the water. Dang. He hit the water like a brick. That almost looks like a crappy with those spots on. There's a couple in here. That's a nice one. A little fat one. That's the biggest one we caught yet. I'm glad it worked. I was starting to worry. <laughs> Cheetos and bread. Cheetos and bread. That might be a secret. We're taking it on around. It's deep right here. I'm gonna put it here. Today, we're gonna try sardines. So we're just gonna leave that bread down in the bottom. There's a couple of Cheetos left, and hopefully the oil off of these sardines attracts one. What do you think? Think it's gonna work? <laughs> we'll find out. Ready? Yeah. Hold it this time. Dang it! That is deep. I can't even see it. Oh, look at that sardine hole coming to the team. <laughs> that might work. Yeah, what? I think it's gonna work. <laughs> All right, so we about to check his trap. Found it this time. Yeah. Nobody stole it. <laughs> How many think we're gonna catch? I don't know. You put sardines in there, it might catch the I think six. I'm gonna say four. Four, okay. I hope. I hope <laughs> Oh, there's some in there. Yep. Oh, guess what? Oh, dang, you a dead gum lottery champion. Exactly four. Well, the sardines worked. Yep, four. I really snuck down here and checked it last time before you came. <laughs> You're just good at guessing. Well, you won't be able to catch none of them when it's time to go. That's three. We're going to train them not to come in the trap. No one get rid of fish. <laughs> We're going to be able to catch them. And that's four. I believe it's sort of big to go down in the bottom. Last time, we're going back to the bread and we're going to put it in deeper water this time. See what happens. We're going to throw it off the end of the pier. We're going deeper. Hold that rope. I'm, yeah. That is deeper. I can't even see it. Now, how many we're going to catch this time? We're going to catch the big ones this time. How many? I'm going to probably say five or six. Five or six. Okay, I'm going with... You took my number. I'm going with five. I'm going to catch five. All right, we're going to check the fish trap. We kind of wrapped it up where we started it at. Yeah, we threw it out a little bit deeper this time. You can't even see it over here. It's so deep. Probably what, six foot maybe? Probably a bunch of mud. Probably. It's pretty dang deep. Now I see a fish swimming around. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Is that five? <laughs> what I said. <laughs> did I say five? Yeah, I think you did say five. What did I say? Like you said five or six. You, you said I stole your. 
How many? I'm probably say five or six. Five or six. You took my number. I'm going with five. I'm going to catch five. This thing's going to be great come summer because this winter, it's kind of hard. I mean, it's still doing good to be winter. It looks like a bluegill crappio. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple crappy in here we've caught a couple times. I ain't never seen one like it. Not unless that's a shell cracker. That might be a shell cracker. It's ready to go. Man, I'm so pleased it works. It's gonna make kitchen bait a lot easier. Yeah, these are gonna help out a lot come summertime. All right, David, you helped me test this thing for a w over a week now. What do you think about it? We caught fish every day except for one. And yeah. I think it was just one fish. If they live in a state where they can do this, is you think it's worth doing? Yeah. Say so you can have to go out or catch them with a rod and reel. That fishing trap worked way better than I thought it would. And you know, honestly, I think it's going to work better when it warms up. Because this is the middle of winter. We had to find deep holes to throw it in. And when it warms up, it won't really matter. And I didn't have time to check every single bait that was in the comment section because there was a bunch of them. If you're gonna build a trap, you should probably go in the comment section of the fish trap video and check them out. But if you enjoyed this video, then you definitely need to go check out this video because it'll show you how to build a fishing trap. I'm just saying, I'm serious. Go check it out because this video is over.